hi all and welcome back to the channel today is one of those days when we were literally craving to have some spinach as well as mushrooms so i decided to prepare this recipe which is the combination of both spinach with mushrooms let me start showing you the recipe in detail here i have boiled some water in this we're going to blanch the spinach put in the spinach and leave it there for about two to three minutes like i said we're going to cook this for two to three minutes and drain out the water let all the leaves soak in properly Boiling the spinach for 2 to 3 minutes is just enough, otherwise it will be losing the color. Let's pour it out. As you can see, we have not overcooked the spinach, so it's nice and green in color. If you wish, you can pour some cold water to this, which will help in preserving the color. For the next step, I'm going to boil some water again. To this, I'm going to add some button mushrooms, which I have just sliced them. Don't slice it too thin. Boil this for about 3 minutes again. This is also ready. Let's drain the water and keep it aside. In the meantime, my spinach has cooled down. I'm going to make a puree out of this. Let's make a smooth paste and that's done. Heat a wok, pour in some oil. I'm using about 3 tablespoons of refined oil. You may use ghee if you wish to. Half a teaspoon whole cumin seed. 2 dry red chilies. Cook them for about 10 to 15 seconds. I'm adding Two large onions finely chopped. Add some salt so that the onions melt faster. Cook until the onion turns softer and a little brownish in color. One tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Fry it for about 30 seconds. One fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder half a teaspoon Kashmiri chili powder, one teaspoon each of coriander powder and cumin powder. Mix it up well, adding a little bit of water so that the spices don't get burnt. And let's cook it till the raw smell of all the spices go. To this I'm adding two tomatoes finely chopped. I'll be cooking the tomatoes for about 2 to 3 minutes or until the tomatoes are fully cooked. I'll just cover this for a while. Say 2 to 3 minutes. After 3 minutes, let's check if the tomatoes are cooked. Okay, this should be done. And to this I'll be adding the spinach puree mix it up properly consistency is little thick so I'm adding some water to this the consistency of this gravy is as per your choice if you're going to have it with chapatis then you can make it a little thicker we're going to have this with jeera rice so keeping a little extra gravy once it comes to a boil, then add the boiled mushrooms. This is a lovely combination. If you haven't tried it already, I am sure you are going to love this. So please do try out this recipe. After cooking for about 5 minutes, I am just checking it again. This is 
already done. I'm going to add some ghee to give it a little bit more flavor. If you wish to, you can add some cream or milk to this. Say about 3 tablespoons of milk. But I'm avoiding that. That was a very easy recipe of spinach and mushroom. Please do try it out and leave your comments in the comment section below. I would love to get your feedback. Like I said, this is best served with chapatis or jeera rice or even pulao. <laughs> so please do let me know which is going to be your favorite combination. Signing off today from Jenny's Lifestyle and Hobbies. Until we meet again, do take very good care of yourself. Bye.